What's happening guys and welcome back to the Dwarf Head Cup. We are playing Bleeding Hippie today and we get 190,000 in inducements. So, why not, because it's do or die, put another 10,000 of our own money. No! I put 10,000 of my money. Ugh. Well, I was going to do that and try to do something, but it's okay. Let's grab a wizard, because it's probably our only hope, really, being honest. And inducement results. I was going to get something else, but nope. Can't do that. <laughs> I took too long talking. So, the wizard is crucial about when we play it, so... It's going to be one of those things. If we use our wizard and don't end up getting a score out of it, then we've wasted our wizard. Good little note. Probably what's going to happen, because I'm not very experienced in using the wizard. At all. <laughs> I usually don't get this much inducement. So, we will see what's going on. Did I miss my intro? Probably I was in a hurry. Oh well. You guys know the drill. What's happening, guys? Da 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 da. We're playing the Brave Companions again, the other hippie team. Been a hectic day, man. Woke up late, er, than I should have. Uh, running errands all day and come in just barely in time to make the uh, make the game. A little late over the scheduled time. I'm just glad Mr. Bleeding Hippie was patient with me. Because it has been hectic. And on that note, I haven't had time to really sit down and get in that Blood Bowl mindset. Which is really bad. <laughs> um, starting out. So, if Ket wondered, we are rather mismatched. Alright, he's getting the ball first. So, let's find our loner. Loner, loner, okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to pull everyone back, okay? We're going to put our loner in the middle. He's just going to move to wherever our big guys are. So... Let's just kind of get a wide berth going here. And then we have a kick lineman who needs to be right here. A non-kick lineman who's probably going to be over here. I'm going to put him back. That's our thrower, plus one movement blitzer. We're down a blitzer, but I thought we had one somewhere. Guess not, I guess we're down, yeah, one. So our thrower, our other black orc is going to be right here. And we're going to have our troll pick up the rear there. And accept. That's a very odd start. But we are looking for a more defensive play here. So, like, even when he takes the middle here, I'm trying to have a backup wall set a little further back. Thank <laughs> you. 
But this big old hole in the middle is because I can, hopefully, if he falls into it, I can kind of crush in around it, hopefully. That's an... So let's pay attention to where he's setting up because our kick guy is kicking the ball. And we want to make it difficult for him, so we're going to kick it like right here. Oh man. Really? Ha! <laughs> no. I cannot believe that just happened. Uh, I'm a man down and haven't even started yet. And a good man at that. Well, that was the first kickoff of the game. Just like to point that out. Uh, Al Calicchio was our Mighty Blow guy too, wasn't he? You're not going to let me see who that was? Yeah. Nope, he was the nothing lineman. Okay. He's getting his bashes in. Which is well understood. So that's why I set him there. Alright, he's making himself a little screen here. Because he knows I can't quite get there. Here comes the blitz. He runs away, of course. So there's that now. What do we want to do? Well, we can commit two guys to hitting that guy, and I haven't pressed G or N yet. Um, we really can't even commit two guys to it. We'd have to blitz this guy who can't reach. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to stand up our punching bags one by one. We are going to move this guy over here. And then we're going to run our goblin over here. Set up the blitz there. Giving him that would put his white in a great position for him so I don't want to do that can't quite make it to the top even with my plus one movement guy without a uh, chance here so we're gonna wait on that we're gonna go use our blitz right here which we shouldn't have done so early but such is the way of things. And then we're going to push him away from our Gabo into our black orc there. 
which isn't great, but it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. We're also going to move this lineman with kick over here. Just to try to bring things out, and he's going to go cover the middle trail for a bit. And then we are going to try the GFI right here. And then, end of turn. Because there's no need to go for that negative two yet. I don't want to use my wizard right now. I keep forgetting I have to click that to give him his turn. None of his players has Frenzy, so he'd have to blitz with a ghoul, I guess, if he wanted. There goes the guard. He's going to follow him up. Probably blitz him out of the way and come to the left, which is why I kind of hung my thrower back. Yep. Saw that happening. That's a stun, which is not good, but a double skull, which he has to re-roll. Alright, see, he's got the middle run open here, which is what he's wanting. But he hasn't blocked off that. He's smart, he'll follow, and he is smart. There was never any doubt about that. So we're going to stand this lineman up first. This thrower is going to come here to intercept the middle. We're probably going to blitz the black orc on the right. We really need someone to tie up that. So I'm going to bring him over to keep him from doing that and then we're going to tr oh god it's a loner oh man I thought that was my other guy um let's see he can't make it so it's gonna have to be him so we're gonna do the one die block First, actually. There goes our reroll. All right, now we move Mr. Stunty. around here if I stand him up it'll be a one die I have block we've got 30 seconds so let's go ahead and do that 
Yay, it worked. Okay, so... And dodge, holding that guy off. End of event. All right. End of event, also. <laughs> the point here uh, trying to prevent that blitzer from getting surfed by putting another blitzer in his way and that's not what he wants either he wrestles it though Here he comes to block that off. There's probably going to be... That right's already performed an action. So that... Oh, the ball carrier. Man, he wants that surf pretty bad, huh? Right. No. A little slow on the escape key there. There's that mummy. Getting a stun there. So he's done a pretty good job of blocking people off here. We're going to stand up this guy for sure. We are going to hit this guy for sure. And push him down mummy way. Our gobbo is probably going to run our blitzer here. With mighty blow. So... If I can get our thrower right here, let's stand this gentleman up. He's here to get bashed, but hopefully we can do something about that. So the safer play by far is to move the gobbo and we're going to put him here. Oh my god. Okay. So that's a bad omen. Now here comes our blitzer. Oh, come on. Double skull. And we're not going to use that, because while we've got it in close, it's still his turn. There's a zombie coming, giving the ghoul a two die. Actually, no, because of the... That there. Here we go. No, we're not going to use that yet.
He's going after my thrower. He has tackle. I have dodge. He wins. And he's trying to... It's almost as if he knows I have a wizard. <laughs> Dead. He's a loner. Nobody cares about him. Alright, my turn. What are we going to do before we do anything? We decide if we're going to risk the fireball here. Um, don't see how we have an option to yet. So instead, we're just going to punch. And that's a no. And then we're going to stand up this black orc here. Um,. Blitzer stands up. That guy can't stand up, unfortunately. We're going to have to try to move our goblin into a more reactionary position. So he can react to problems as they occur. We're left with no choice but to really try this. So we have block, which, you know, makes it a little better. But we don't have a lot of options. All right. No reroll. So we're going to push that mummy over here. We're not going to follow up. And that gets one little mummy off of him. That we can try again later. So are we going to try to dodge into a tackle zone? Actually, if we're going to do that, we might as well. But that's into a tackle zone. Out of a tackle zone. <laughs> and we might as well go for the two GFIs if we're doing all that jazz. Um, no, not burning our last reroll on that. The point is just to make him fall down somewhere a little bit safer. That is really the point here. So, I don't see how this can do anything. End of event. We just can't use our wizard now. Like, a wizard isn't a cure-all. We really need to, but... Like, every part of me wants nothing more than to blast that ghoul, but we're in the position now where we need to... We don't need to burn our wizard unless we can score with him. It's that simple. And I don't know we could score with him. So... There goes that right with Tackle. He's after my Goblin. Which hopefully... Tackle doesn't negate Stunty, so hopefully that will help. His Dodge right is going over there. I guess he's blocking the Black Orc incursion.
All right, so. It's outside of his tackle zone, so we're going to go here with him. We're going to stand him up, of course. We may blitz with him. I think we have to. So we're going to stand this blitzer up. And what's less risky? The one die blodge guy? Yeah, that is way less risky. Is he in scoring position? He shouldn't be yet. can blitz me out he can hit me and he can't blitz me out so let's do that then of course burn my last reroll on GFI and fail it ah uh, can I not roll a one <laughs> yeah fuck it spite this game's going badly who can I burn Nobody got injured. That sucks. <laughs> yes, I know that was a bad play. No, I don't care. <laughs> Any questions? That was that was a hate uh missile. I'm just <laughs> I'm so hurt right now. Uh. He blocks him down and runs to cover the black orc. So that ghoul up and he secures the ball again. He really wants to score with him. Understandable. Scoring a pass levels him up again. And there's the pass. Huh. I never noticed a foot on a ghoul's shoulder pad before. Just random thought there. So, who can do what? Alright, so everything's risky. What do we do then? The goblin essentially has four agility with stunty. And fails. Tackle doesn't affect Stunty, does it? Just dodge. I'm almost positive. I still get the plus one. Dodge four plus... Oh, yeah, see, I rolled a one. Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I can't do anything. Yes, I know. I've pulled off some 50-50 dodges. 
Shut up, I'm lamenting. <laughs> oh my god. So he's just gonna grind it out. Vanity passing to his heart's content. Try to level that guy. I am an experiment for the next game. And that does not make me feel good. So you know what that means? I mean, technically he's just scoring on his turn, but I am three guys down who aren't coming back and one that might. Nope. That is my movement allowance, Black Orc. Oh, is it my turn now? Joy. Um, let's see, our goblin can't move. Our thrower is free to play the run the fuck away game. So we're going to run the fuck away. Then we are going to pick up our linemen and our black orc. And our blitzer just to protect him. And our goblin's down. I don't care about those mummies or the right. Because they can't really get far enough to help I don't think. So he's going to score. I am three guys down. SPP doesn't matter because if we lose, we're done. So. It's that kind of position right now. I didn't get a guy back. It's only one turn. I shouldn't be clicking on my guys. So, black orc. Black orc, and we're a black orc down. Our blitzer is our plus one mighty and our mighty blow. So that actually be a good setup for over here. And then let's go ahead and do that. Except In case you're wondering, no, I don't care about the ball. Any questions? <laughs> oh, joy! Wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted.
So, on my first kickoff event, someone died. On my second kickoff event, he got a blitz. And now I get the ball. Yay! Okay. So this is not actually going to be our starting line. That was only for the sake of... Um... trying to punch people and that didn't even work out maybe balancing the teams a little bit more because he's run a full roster to my one two three four five six seven guys well it's do or die so let's do this So, we're doing it like this. <laughs> I call this the penis formation. It's what happens right before you get fucked. <laughs> Yay, perfect defense! Oh, wait, no, that's him again. Crap. There's the mummy, so. On the bright side, the mummies going there don't affect my play at all. It's not the right. The play, by the way, was to hit no one and run away like little scared elves. In case you were wondering. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. So... We're actually going to go for the ball first. So we're going to move no. You're going to go here. Playing elves. End of turn. <laughs> well, that's not really elf because there's a cage at the end of that dodging, but dodging was the plan. <laughs> right. Blocking up the goblin there. He's going to push me into Mr. Other Mummy, which is, I do have a dodge guy, and that does give, uh, no, Black Orc has a one die, but 
you know how that goes. Is that his plus strength guy? No. Well, there goes that option. Um. So we're looking like a run the fuck away with the dodge. More and more. Because he doesn't have his tackle right on it, so. This is his plus strength guy, right? Alright, so. Stand up, lineman. Yep. Yep, okay. So, very first play. Run the thick away. Dodge. Next play. Run the fuck away. Yep, reroll. Push away. And now what do we do? Um. Black Orc Dodge! Black Orc Dodge! <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, an act of desperation. Black Orc Dodge! Black Orc Dodge! Alright. So... Everybody freeze! Ender! All right, here comes his zombie. Uh, I mean, his mummy. Not blitzing with it means he intends to blitz with this one. Or the right on the ground. The right on the ground is the answer. Because that right has tackle, and he knows it. Three die block. Oh yeah, on that lineman. Go right ahead. Alright, is there a way to push? That'll cancel him out. But all these guys are covered by this guy. Subsequently covered by this guy. So I don't think I can do more than a one die. Actually, no. Yes. One dies it. Where is my goblin? He's here. Yeah! Okay. So. So that's a one die. It's a negative two die, obviously, a negative two die, a negative two die. So it looks like we're going to have to go with. Oh, wait, that's right. Stand this guy up. I should have a one die block V block here, but I don't. Who is covering my thrower, other than my, like, that makes no sense. Oh, well, this is me saying that makes no sense going on there, so. 
even though someone probably sees exactly what I'm missing and it completely does make sense. I'm gonna need him. All right then, play of the century. Oh well, it happens. Right into the hands of a ghoul, because, you know, that happens. <laughs> So it's on somebody with nothing. Yeah, it's that lineman. Spook, spook. Alright, so he's weary of the dodging black orc, apparently. <laughs> uh, which one's... He goes ahead and scores. Because why not? He can pretty much do whatever he likes. Is he going to change his formation at all? Because I really don't have another one. Edith formation, initiate. Except. Wait, why is he there? Oh, poo. I hate you, game. I hate you so much. All right, so. No, bad goblin. You're going right here. And then we bring a lineman over here. And a blitzer over here. Yep. And now we're going to dodge the other guy. Yay! Everybody knows what time it is. 
Can you say dodging black orc time? It's dodging black orc time. Wait, his zombies have guard? No. Then why can't I do that? Well, that makes no sense, but okay. I guess, no. Dodging black orc time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't roll a one. Good. End of turn. So he seals off that gap there. That blitzer is just regular old dodge blitzer. If I put a blitzer right here, that becomes a one die block. Reroll. It doesn't matter anymore. Yes. All right. <laughs> So it made an itty bitty hole that will soon collapse because he's just going to run his people to intercept over here. But, you know, at least try to make an effort. Fight till you die. Doesn't matter you've got one leg. You fight till death. <laughs> of course he can now just surf my thrower with a blitz which he hasn't used yet. Which is exactly what he's going to do with that zombie there, I do believe. One, two, yeah, that's totally in his movement range. No, oh, chain push, gotcha.
Alright, so chances are he's now about to punch here and here. Or here, yeah. Oh, really? Here comes for the pickup. All right, so what can we do at all? All right, so the least thing here is to do this. And it didn't work. Yay, it didn't work. That was the least risky maneuver, was that one die block. Just pointing that out there, and that is a matter of absolute fact. <laughs> By the way. Well, I guess not absolute fact. Uh, one die block, there are two pushes, and a... He doesn't have block, does he? That's Yeah, that's my block guy, so yes. It was a four plus or, th or three pluses, subsequently. So, matter of fact, yes, that was the safest move. Is this my Dodger? That is my Dodger. Are you really gonna foul? No. Okay, he's just committing different people to different places because he wants him to score. And you know what? If I had any way of stopping it, I would out of spite. But I don't, so I'm not. <laughs> but we're gonna keep fighting with what we have, which isn't much, but, you know just a series of risky plays that could possibly work in our favor here comes the right to remove one of those he gets a push he'll probably follow up oh no ah oh, I see so is he scoring oh wow I figured he'd hand off to the 28 guy He thinks he can get one more score in before the end of game, probably. Which isn't a terrible thought. And I finally got one player back. Hooray! Alright. Let's get to work. Okay, put both of them in there. That's fine. Linemen, you're going here. Black orc, black orc. Hmm. Here, I thought I was had one more black work. I thought he woke up. He did. Oh, where is he? I only had three. Oh, God. Okay. We have the disappearing man. So, let's see if he pops back up. We were at three, and there's one gone, just gone. He's not coming back either. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So then we've got 40 seconds to set up. Lineman in the middle. Blitzer. Blitzer. Actually, considering what we're doing, Gabo, Blitzer, Thrower. Okay. At 
Duh, I don't have 11 players on the- Hey, he's back in the back for some reason. Okay. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> nice of you to join us. <laughs> uh, perfect defense. Douchebag's gonna put his... Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I'm bitter. <laughs> He's gonna put his rights on the line. Oh, who called it? Because, you know, me dodging away, that gets annoying to him. Scoring on me several times. It's okay. We're gonna have a secret play this time. All I have to do is survive a couple turns. All right, my turn, my turn, cool. So we're going to go black orc right here. Black orc over here. Black orc over here. We're actually going to pick the ball up. And then we're going to run right here. Cool. Uh, Goblin still has the best chance. So we're going to run him around over here. Followed by the Blitzer. Nope, he failed. Okay. So the object here, base, cover, and screen, draw them into my territory. <laughs> By damn, I do not want them to score one more time. That's all I'm concerned with. Surviving three turns without him scoring. And if I can survive two turns without getting too badly swarmed, we will be okay. Okay, there comes him, him, and him. So. Here comes the blitz on the goblin. Lots of pushes, that's good. Okay. All right, so you, sir, going to cover the black orc. I mean the ghoul, because I can deal with him. Okay, and you, sir, are going to do the same thing. Oh, oh well, there went that. That sound play is now disturbed, because he's going to get the ball now. Uh, like I said, I just had to make it to turn 16 without that happening. Fortunately, I didn't. So my grandiose plan of working perfectly until this play, when he smacks my goblin and blitzes with the right. Takes the ball with the goal and scores a fourth touchdown. 
versus my play of luring him deep into my side and throwing it to the other side just so he leaves me alone and can't get back here in two turns. That was the plan. <laughs> As I said, now he blitzes with the right. Oh yay! We both have block. This is actually pretty decently okay. And that's the end of the game and the end of our season. There's going to be one more episode. It will be the season wrap-up. Just to make everything nice and smooth and complete. And we'll talk about the season then. And I will see you guys there on the Culinary Killers Dwarf Head Cup season wrap-up. That's the end. Just out of curiosity. Alright then. The guy who didn't... <laughs> The team captain, the guy who got hit with rock. Just saying. I'll see you guys next week. Or in a few days, actually. <laughs> see you guys later. Peace.